I want to get your sort of sense of the world to start off. Trade. Uh, is, um, how concerned are you by the apparent turn away from free trade that we're seeing, obviously in the U.S., but elsewhere as well? I think the concept of trade wars is not good for the world at this moment. We want the U.S. economy to grow, and if the U.S. economy starts growing above 3%, that will help emerging markets, and it will help Latin America a lot. But if you start having measures in order to limit free trade or to put additional tariffs, it would hurt emerging economies. So if you want the whole economy to grow in a comprehensive way, you need to get the biggest economies growing and don't blockade the development of the access to free markets. What kind of relationship do you foresee Colombia having with the U.S. under President Trump? Well, there's an important thing, and it's that Colombia has always had bipartisan support. We got support from the Clinton administration, the Bush administration, the Obama administration, and now President Trump is visiting Colombia for a, week, for a, week, a few weeks from now. And he's supporting an, our anti-drug agenda, but I also believe that we need to strengthen commercial ties, trade ties. We want Colombia to participate actively in aggregated value chains, and we want also to expand and diversify our export offer to the U.S. That's part of my goals, because as of today, 75% of Colombian exports to the U.S. are limited to very few products. We want to broaden that so that we can have better opportunities of growth in specific sectors. So, as I mentioned in the intro, Colombia's growth right now not very impressive. Under your administration, what would be the sort of central plank of reviving that growth? First of all, tax rates in Colombia are pretty high. When you look at corporate tax rates in Colombia, we're above the average of OECD member countries and we're above Latin America and even the world average. So part of the things that I'm proposing is to eliminate unnecessary spending, do a reform in central government so that we can be more efficient, use better technology, and eliminate duplicities in many works that we have among agencies. And with that, and also fighting the tax evasion on VAT and corporate taxes, we can lower the rate, increase investment, and make that the trigger of productivity and new formalization and job creation. When it comes to those tax cuts, are the Trump, Bush, or Reagan tax cuts any kind of model for you to, to look at? I don't think you can have a one-size-fits-all agenda on tax cuts, but I think what we should do in Colombia is definitely become more competitive in tax rates for corporations because they are the generators of formal labor force. Mm -hmm. So if you ask me about a competitive rate, I think it should be below 30 percent, as we've seen in other countries in Latin America. Chile has undertaken a tax reduction that has been efficient, and also Peru. And I think we should follow that trend in order to get the economy and the investment reactivated and be able to generate the type of, of employment that we need and also put the target of get the economy growing above 5 percent of GDP. You mentioned sort of paying for tax cuts by doing a better job cracking down on tax evasion. And reducing evasion as well. And reducing evasion. How do you actually do that? Because it's great to say that you're going to reduce evasion, but what steps can you take? I think the usage of technology, the usage of big data, blockchain, and the supervision of uh, accounting, corporate accounting, helps a lot. The SUNAT in Peru is doing a good work. The tax administration in Mexico is doing a good work. And there are recent studies from MIT that show that the right combination of technology and fiscalization officials can be more efficient in terms of reducing evasion in corporate tax. And also on VAT, you need to formalize, and maybe you need to uh, have three levels of taxation for micro, small, medium, mm. and large size, so you can get the right incentives for formalization in the way companies are registered in a country like us. Now, if you look at the equity market, a lot of people use that as a gauge for how the economy is doing. Certainly, President Trump likes to do that. Colombia's benchmark stock index is the world's worst performer over the last five years, according to Bloomberg data. We, and we track more than 100 primary indexes here. What do you think has been the root of the problem? Certainly, you could point to inefficiencies in government spending, but that's been the case for much longer than five well, I years. Think, I think there are two, two reasons. Why? One is that our development of local capital markets were, was highly dependent on, on oil. We had uh, the oil companies being the ones who had more uh, trading in, in our local capital markets. And there are two objectives that I want to achieve. First of all, I want the local capital markets to develop. We need to have more IPOs and we need to uh, develop new instruments that are attractive for investors, not only on government bonds, but all other areas.